we have a great similarity in the mathematics of theoretical physics with time being squared as in the work of Galileo and with the speed of light squared. Also in quantum mechanics we have the wave function squared forming a square of probability. The electron that represents matter is also squared and in classical physics in the equation for kinetic energy velocity is squared. We also have the inverse square law that both electromagnetic and gravitational fields are based upon. These videos explain this as a process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking that is relative to the spherical surface. The outer surface forms positive charge and the inner concave surface forms negative charge. Therefore we have to square the radius because the process is relative to the spherical surface. Time and the wave particle function are both squared forming a square of future probability. The speed of light and the electron are squared representing different aspects of the same process. As potential light photon energy transfers into kinetic energy of the electron, velocity is squared as a probabilistic future unfolds.